Hey guys, what's up? It's Honest and True Cuber here. Today I'm going to teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys beginner's method. In beginner's method, there are seven steps, each of which I'll explain in about one minute. There's not much else to say, so let's get started. The first thing you need to know is something called cube notation. That's basically how someone else would tell you which faces to move in which direction, without saying, for example, the right face 90 degrees clockwise, which would take a really, really long time. In cube notation, we assign each of the six faces of a cube a letter. U for up, R for right, F for front, D for down, L for left, and B for back. In addition to that, each face can be moved one of three ways, clockwise, counterclockwise, or 180 degrees. The notation for a clockwise rotation is just the letter by itself. The notation for a counterclockwise rotation is the letter with an apostrophe. The notation for a 180 degree rotation is the letter followed by the number 2. For example, F would mean the front face clockwise. U apostrophe, or U prime as it's often read for simplicity, means the up face counterclockwise. And R2 would mean the right face 180 degrees. Finally, before we can start learning, you have to learn what we call the pieces on a cube. Pieces with only, stick, with only one sticker on them are called centers. Pieces with two stickers are called edges. And pieces with three stickers are called corners. Contrary to popular conception, the Rubik's Cube is not solved side by side. It is solved layer by layer. The first layer is solved in the first two steps. The second layer is solved in the third step. And the third layer is solved in four steps. Now let's start learning how to solve the cube. The first step in solving a cube using beginner's method is the white cross. When you're done with this step, the cube should look like this, with the, each edge with the white sticker on it in the correct position on the cube as shown. Now I'll show you how to make the cross. First, locate all of your edges with white stickers on them, like this. There should be four of them. Then, turn the cube so that all the white stickers on those four edges are next to the white center. This step is very simple. You should be able to figure it out yourself. Here's an example solve of a cross just to give you an idea of how to put the pieces into the top face. For example, once you have find the four white edges, one, two, three, and four, you can begin to start turning them in like this. For example, this one here, you can turn it in just by a simple one move like that. This one here, same thing, you can turn it in just like that. This one here, same thing, you can do this. This one, you technically could put it in with one move. However, it would kick out this third one here. So what you have to do is you have to turn this empty space over that spot that it will go and turn it in so it doesn't kick out anything. And now you have all four of your cross edges in place. However, as you can see, not these two pieces are not in the correct positions. They need to be switched. To do this, with any case, you have to turn one of the edges that are need to be switched off the top face, turn the other edge that needs to be switched over the spot that you just took it away from, Put this first one back up, kicking that second one out. Turn the top face back and pull this second second one that needs to be switched back over. And as you can see, you have all four of your cross edges in the correct position. The second step is solving the first layer corners. At the end of this step, the cube should look like this, with all of the corners in the correct positions on the cube as shown. Now I'll show you how to put the corners in the right place. So first, find a corner that has a white sticker on it in the bottom layer with the white not on the bottom face, like this. Now turn the bottom face until the sticker next to the white sticker matches up with the center, like this. Then rotate the cube so that the center is facing you, like this. Then see if that white corner is on the left side or the right side of that center. If it's on the right side, like so, apply the following sequence of moves, or algorithm. D, F, D prime, F prime. And the corner should pop it to its position in the first layer, as shown. This is called inserting the corner. If it's on the left side, like so, Apply the mirror of the previous algorithm, D prime, F prime, D, F. And like before, the corner should pop into its position on the first layer, as shown. Now sometimes there won't be any corners with white stickers in the bottom layer, with the white sticker not on the bottom face, like this. When this happens, the white corners are always in one of two spots, either stuck up in the first layer like this, or in the bottom layer with the white facing down, like this. To deal with the first spot, Put the target corner in the top right slot of the cube, as shown, and apply the first algorithm, D, F, D prime, F prime, until the white corner is in the bottom layer with the white sticker not on the bottom face, like this. 
To deal with the second spot, turn the bottom face until the white sticker on the bottom is directly underneath the spot on the top layer where a corner is not in the correct place, like this. Then you apply that same algorithm, d, f, d prime, f prime, until the white corner is in the bottom layer with the white sticker not at the bottom face, like this. Once you have dealt with these tricky cases, you can proceed to insert them the regular way. Do this for all four of these corners, as I am doing now, and at the end you will have all four of the first layer corners solved, like this. Now that we have solved the whole first layer, you can proceed to solving the second layer. For this, first turn the cube upside down so that the solved first layer is now on the bottom. To start, first look in the top face. Remember, the top face is not the side with the white now, it's the side with the yellow. Look in the top face for an edge that does not have a yellow sticker on it, like this one. Then, turn the top face until the sticker color on that edge that's facing you lines up with a center that matches its color, as shown. Now you have to determine whether it wants to go left or right. To do this, you look at the sticker facing up on that edge, which is orange. Now look at the orange center. It's on the right side, right? So the edge wants to go right. To put an edge that wants to go right into the correct position, or insert the edge, use the following algorithm. U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. Here's an edge that wants to go left. To insert edges that want to go left, use the mirror of the previous algorithm. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime and the edge is now in its proper position. There is an annoying case for this step though, and that's when the edge is in its spot on the cube, but it's flipped, like this. Dealing with this is simple. You put the target edge on the right side, like this. And you apply the algorithm for inserting an edge that wants to go right, like I'm doing now, and the edge will be kicked out of the spot. Now you just put it back in the correct way, like this, like I'm doing now. Do this for all four of the edges, and you have completed the first two layers of the cube. Now we can move on to the last layer, which is divided into four steps. The first step is to solve the yellow cross. Now, unlike the white cross, the pieces of the yellow cross don't need to be in their correct position. There just needs to be a yellow cross on the top. When you're done with this step, the cube should look like this. There are three cases or positions the stickers can be in for this step, the dot, the L, and the line. The algorithm you need to learn is the one I'm performing now, F, R, u, r prime, u prime, f prime. When you have the dot, you hold the cube whichever way you want and perform the algorithm like I'm doing so now. When you do the algorithm on the dot, it will turn into an L. When you have an L, you hold the cube so that the two ends of the L are pointing up and left. Then you apply the algorithm. When you apply the algorithm on the L, it will turn into a line. When you have a line, you hold the cube so that the two ends of the line are facing left and right, and you apply the algorithm. And now you will have your yellow cross finished. The next step is to make the top face all yellow. For this, you'll need to learn another algorithm. There are a total of seven cases for this step. However, they can be arranged into three groups based on the number of corners that don't have their yellow stickers facing up. Two cases have no yellow corner stickers facing up. Two cases have one yellow corner sticker facing up. And three cases have two yellow corner stickers facing up. The algorithm you need to learn is the following. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. You also need to know what headlights are. Headlights are like this, where two stickers of the same color in the same layer are facing in the same direction. Now I will teach you how to deal with each group of cases. When there are no yellow corner stickers facing up, find the headlights and hold the cube so that they are on the left side. Then apply the algorithm, and you should get a case with one yellow corner sticker facing up. When there is one yellow corner sticker facing up, Rotate the cube so that the yellow corner sticker facing up is in the bottom left of the top face, like this, and perform the algorithm. When there are two yellow corner stickers facing up, hold the cube so that there is a yellow sticker in the top left of the face that is facing you, like this, and perform the algorithm. You should now have a case with one yellow corner sticker facing up. In the end, your cube should look like this with the top face all yellow, but the third layer still not solved. To achieve this, you should never have to apply the algorithm I just taught you more than three times. If you find yourself applying the algorithm more times than that, I encourage you to rewatch this part of the video because you are doing something wrong. You're almost there, sixth step. This step switches the positions of the four last layer corners. So that they are in the correct positions in the cube. There's a special word for switching the positions of pieces on the cube. 
It's permuting. The sixth step permutes the corners. To start with this step, find headlights in third layer, like I am doing now, and hold the cube so that they are on your right side, like this. Now perform the algorithm. R2, B2, R, F. R prime, B2, R, F prime, R. Then rotate the cube until all four of the last layer corners are in their correct positions on the cube, like I am doing now. If you cannot find headlights, congratulations, you have the annoying case. To deal with this, perform the previous algorithm on any side, and after this, you should be able to find headlights. Perform the algorithm again with the headlights on your right, and you should have all four of your last layer corners in their correct positions. Last step, viewers, almost there. The last step permutes the edges. To begin this step, look for a completely soft side on the cube. When you find it, put it in the back of the cube, like I'm doing now, and perform the following algorithm, like this. R u prime, R u, R u, R u prime, R prime, u prime, R two. You will need to do the algorithm once or twice to solve the cube. Remember to always keep the solved side in the back. And you have learned to solve a Rubik's cube. However, there are annoying cases for this step too. This is when you cannot find a completely soft side after you have finished step six. To deal with this, perform the algorithm on any side, and after that, you should have a solved side. Then, just use the steps explained previously to solve the cube. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and hopefully you've learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube. If you learn how to solve it, or have any reasons to like this video, please do so. It really helps me. If you want to be one of the first to view new awesome videos, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.